All right, it's Monday. Doing a few screens on some Indian sites. Um, got my first artifact. A little preform, kind of decent. I already picked it up. A little preform for one of these little points made out of a river cobble shirt. Kind of a whitey cream yellow interior with a nice spot on it. See the cortex. It's a brownish copper kind of color. Pretty cool. Later. All right, I'm back. Um, I just finished sifting the rest of the stuff at the cache today. This is all I found in four, almost four hours. Um, I, I've got it done. I, I, at the end of the day, I didn't find flint for over an hour and a half, not even a flake. So I sifted it two or three, well, two and a half times. I, and it's just to the point now where there's nothing. But I did get one more cache piece, um, the preform. And... I will show the cash in its entirety because it's going to go to a, an authenticator and get papered as a group. But this is not good, but it's part of a cash, so I've got a paper. It's a preform for one of those Amos. Um, decent. It'll look nice with the cash. It's a, another little tool. But I'll show you the cash in its entirety here at the end of the video. Later. Um, all right, I'm back. Um, found one little piece today. Um, this you saw it on video earlier. Um, why it's not that nice, kind of, kind of cool, a preform, but it's part of this cache. And I got everything together that is from the cache. Um, it's got finished looking at it today, or finished uh, excavating it today. Um, the first piece I found on the cache would have been this point I found the tip on video um, early in the summer last year I think then found the base in the winter and they fit back together perfectly and they've been in different soil samples and it's fire popped um, and they're patinated a different color the base is way lighter and the top is peach and it's an Amos corner notch um, it's over 9,000 years old but this was the first piece. Then um, I started looking in the area, found this point sifting, then found this point sifting, then found like this one and a few, all these broken ones and got this dandy. This is the nicest one, without a doubt. It's just a smoker. Um, you can see it's even translucent just ridiculously nice um, all of them are really nice um, and I also have two flakes off this that I got screening it with smaller screen that are right off the manufacturer at this point got two nice end scrapers that are associated with these um, Amos points real nice ones both of them um, real nice ones and you can see this flint's the same stuff. Translucent green stuff. It's right off that manufacturer at that point. I was lucky and I got two pieces of it in the same day, right, right where I got the point. It's the same stuff. Um, got this drill recently. Just doing the last little section, it's beautiful. And Probably the find of the cache, which makes this cache worth talking about, is there was a paleo point in it associated with these um, Amos points. And these are old points. Um, Overstreet lists them at 8,900 before present to 9,900. And I think this site's even older from some of the stuff that's coming from it. But a fluted point. It's got basal grinding. It's fluted up to right there, which is over half the blade the blade um, it's got the form um, beautiful material that's gray and later brown swirled it's not the greatest paleo but yeah, you look at it with these points it just shows how old they are um, here's a little bit about the cache here's the bank how it was found um, there was one small occupation layer it goes straight back. What happened is 
erosion from waves here's the water this fluctuates up to about here um, the water come up and lapped at this and let this stuff all erode out right on top of a clay layer um, I found the last point probably down to about here and all the stuff was laying in here and right in here was a fire pit and I found the back side of the fire pit it was right in here and it might have been the central part of a dwelling all of these points come from right in here they were laying all right in here and down in these dips in the clay and I sifted them out all of them everything in this sifter and this from the back of the fire pit to where the last point was found um, this would have been the lowest one and I think it's because it's a small one and it was in two pieces and it tumbled around with the lighter material and it sucked it out all this bigger stuff was up where it was pretty much buried um, this here is no more than four strides so for me I would say five six feet so they were all found within a five or six foot area and gravity pulled them down the ones that were dislodged from I, I think they all come from about right here and because that's where the green one and the white one come from this white one this green one then everything else was down in here the drill was like right here um, let's see the real translucent white one right here was down in here um, so was this broken one beside it this one was from up higher I guess it was from right in here this fire popped one and the Clovis point was from right in here in one of these dips um, the drill was from like right here right up against this fire pit and as were the end scrapers they were right in this section here to this dip I think one of them actually did come out of the dip then uh, let's talk about this tool it's a pretty significant find for me it's the first one that's come off this site that I've documented um, after I look at it more under magnification it's a very significant piece um, here's what I believe um, it could have been let's see that's the joint this is a deer leg bone this could have been easily that's about the size of it too you can see this is about the same diameter of it it was probably hafted into that and it's a chisel it could have been hafted into a bone or a wood handle but uh, this is a 9,900 year old hematite natural iron ore chisel um, it's got this rounded back which is very important this is all ground and it's so smooth in here it's like the base of a big sandy it's just polished smooth like an arrowhead so this was hafted absolutely and if you think about a deer leg bone um, right on the joint this would fit right in there and you can see the 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 polished edge there it's razor sharp it's got a bit on it and this was a little chisel that was hafted into something like that and probably used as a woodworking tool it could have been even used with like a wooden mallet to take off pieces so a lot of woodworking going on and that's very significant um, you can see here here's the cache it'd be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, and there'd be 17 if you count the two flakes. And I have some more flakes um, that uh, I could include with it that I might. I think some flakes off this that are in there. But a paleo point with the first corner notches in North America. That's how I feel looking at this stuff in the dates. And again, that's just my opinion. These are some very early pieces of North American history. But I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm gonna paper these. This is a significant find with the Paleo. And you know, I got a point here that's got two different types of patination on it that was found in two pieces. This is one of the best finds of my life looking just for what this is. And look at this beauty. With all the tools associated with it, something else. Well, I hope you enjoy. Um, I'll get back um, on my next hunt, and thanks for subscribing. Later. This is a good boy. Huh. <laughs> Is that 
that dog? Is that dog messing with you? You get mean. Is that little dog messing with you too? <laughs> Little dog's going crazy, isn't she? She's getting jealous.